guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Veronica. It's been a minute since we've done an Air Force video, so let's go ahead and jump straight into this. Okay, so if you can tell by the title of my video, the Air Force is getting new uniforms. Bow, 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 bow. I kind of sounded like Blue's Clues. Did anyone see the Blue's Clues update? Okay, so um, the Air Force is getting new uniforms and I wanted to kind of review, not review, but kind of give you guys this update. I'm not an Air Force news sort of channel. I'm more like if I see things that are that I'm interested in, um, I'm going to update those. If you guys don't know, um, or if you're a new subscriber, I'm Veronica. I'm in the Air Force. I'm an officer. I've been in for about five years, and I'm so excited about this. Um, so the Air Force is getting new uniforms, and I'm just going to go through it. Um, I follow them on Facebook, and they updated their Facebook story, and I was like, what? Finally, it got approved. Um, so we're going to start out with the PT gear. Um, and by the way, if I look a little disheveled... <laughs> There's a lot going on here, okay? So <laughs> the PT gear, we're getting new PT gear. Now we had been talking about this, getting new PT gear for quite some time, actually. I think the original mock-ups, I probably won't be able to find them, um, but the original mock-ups looked more like almost Under Armour gear. It was very um, smooth and leggings and all this stuff that we got with the symbol on and it looked really nice. So the finalization of that has changed definitely. It doesn't look as the same as it did but as you guys can see with me on the screen um, that uh, it looks fine. You know we we went from like the shh, 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 you know the swishy pants where you can hear you from a mile away. Um, now this looks to be more cotton and spandex material um it says that they're softer quieter material it literally says that on here um they have updated materials for fabric and moisture and odor control because you know when you're wearing swishy stuff and you're sweating that can get really stinky because the wind just basically breathes through it and also um the jacket has more of a tailored fit so if you notice a lot of our stuff in the military has went from more of kind of a standard to a more tailored fit except for mess dress i feel like mess dress has always been tailored um i actually prefer the older skirts but i couldn't fit into the skirt that i ordered so i had to give it up and it had a slit in it and it looked really really sexy um but i couldn't fit it which is i know you guys are like what yeah my waist was like a 24 25 coming in off of officer training i remember ordering it with my dad and even when the new one came in it still didn't fit so i had to go with the old skirt but i still got that tailored um yeah it says jacket pants men's women's t-shirts will be available along with new running and all-purpose shorts so they don't have a picture on their story of the shirt shorts but if you don't know the air force men's shorts are notoriously kind of short um they're kind of remind me of like 80s 70s i don't know what year it was but basically when men used to play basketball and they had like the rounded shorts and they're shorter um it's pretty much the same length as the women's or at least it looks like it on it and i'm actually happy for them because i cannot tell you how many times because we have to wear a shirt tucked in um that i would go into the gym see a guy in his pt uniform and he would be like sagging essentially his shorts because he um they're so short and i guess they make him feel uncomfortable so i've seen a lot of guys do that so i'm sure the guys are happy but if you're a runner the they're basically running shorts it's naturally what you wear when you run so october 2022 which is next month um they will be available so and there will be a four-year transition to transition period for mandatory wear so essentially four years from october 2022 so i would say october 2026 20, unless something happens it is now mandatory that we have to have the all new gear so i'm not sure if i'm gonna go out and buy i always kind of wait till the last minute to buy stuff i'm gonna be honest because that stuff adds up and you spend a lot of money on it so okay sorry my camera cut off the current and old blue uniforms are made for people with at least the women like a two inch waist with 30 inch hips and short legs it's 
it's kind of weird so they're fixing that I can't speak for men's because I've never worn the men's pants so I'm not sure as far as the shirts for the women's because I'm looking at the photo now um, they're going to lengthen the body shirt. They're going to realign the buttons. They do need to realign the buttons because even the button all the way up here to put your neck tab on is like, it chokes me. Um, and it's just, it's horrible. It's, the buttons are weird. And then some of the buttons in my older shirts, now that I have a chest size, I can definitely see where that's a problem. I am definitely going to be getting new shirts um, just because I had them tailored um when i was in alabama and they tailored them actually way too small like it's very my blues uniform is very tight fitting um it looks really good when i wear it because people are like oh you look really good but um i feel like it doesn't allow any comfort you know what i mean and so now that i have a, a larger chest size i definitely am gonna have to get a different shirt but i'm actually was going to get one anyways because even pre-pregnancy i remember telling lewis when i had wore my blues uniform this past like right when i started school i was like oh my gosh i need a new uniform because this is just so uncomfortable and then same thing for the guys the shirt is going to be re-engineered better armholes and shoulders longer body um, improved pockets so again yeah that's what's gonna happen with that basically looking at everything everything looks the same or similar it's just updated more comfortable better sizing so I don't see anything that's too like oh my gosh I can't believe we're gonna have to wear that I'm actually so excited for um, new uniforms because again the blues uniform definitely I wish we could get a new type of jacket but then when you think about it I don't know what else we would wear um, but everything looks, you know, needs to be improved and updated every so often. So I'm super excited for the blues uniform just because I hope it's more comfortable than it is. Because honestly, it's my least favorite uniform out of all of them. I will wear mess dress over um, our blues um, just because it's just so uncomfortable. So I'm hoping this will help. I think the other biggest thing that's super uncomfortable is the shoes that we have to wear with them. So I'm hoping we can come out with better shoes, but again, that's not really their problem. It's more of the manufacturers who make the shoes, but I'm hoping that um, we can get some updated shoes that are a little bit more comfortable because those shoes kind of hurt. We got new OCPs, um, which is our camouflage pattern change, and now we're getting new blues. Um, the mesh dress skirt for the ladies got updated, so that's nice. And now we just have um, our PT gear, which they're going to change. So all of this stuff, again, has a, a mandatory four-year transition period. As far as the blue sh um, shirts, you can't tell the difference. You just know there's an old version or a new version, so that's not going to be really addressed as mandatory. It's mainly going to be PT gear. So, But I'm excited. I think it's going to be so cute. And we're gonna look a lot better and not make swishy sounds so I'm excited for that um okay so please excuse anything going on or if I look a little crazy I didn't have time to do makeup right now just because I am preparing to go back to work and you guys will see that footage and then also um, it's just been crazy with the boys we had a long appointment filled day today so that's why this is a little bit rush video but I wanted to put this out here because I'm so excited about it and yeah, thank you guys so much for subscribing. Comment below what military videos or regular videos or just give me a thumbs up, give me a like, communicate back that you like the effort that I'm putting in because I've been uploading pretty much every um, three times a week. So even my shorts, I count those as videos. So if I'm ever doing something or you know something comes up and I have or I have a cute short that I want to just put out there I'm gonna put it out there so just an FYI um yeah okay I'll catch you guys in the next video ouch bye